Andrew, I know you know Dundee very well. Um, that result is interesting. Your thoughts on that and what we've heard so far tonight? Andrew, are you with us? Well, Dundee is where I grew up. I know Dundee very well. It was always a very strong, solid and radical Labour city and a trade union city. But the SNP have made huge inroads there. And one thing I would say, it's four in the morning. Here is a naked, outrageous, unashamed plea to keep watching. Because if you look what Dundee by itself has done to the percentages at the bottom of the screen, suddenly everything has become closer. And we still have a lot of very, very big councils to come, all the really big ones. So I think the story of the evening so far is clear. But just don't, let's be too definite at this stage, even, even now. Uh, Dundee is a very, very famous political town. It became Yes City. It would have been an absolutely extraordinary moment if Yes City had said no, it hasn't. I, I agree with Brian Taylor, the numbers weren't quite good enough for the Yes campaign, but the night, although it's gone on for a long time, still has some very exciting hours to go. Andy, thanks very much again. And uh, yes, I suppose that's a warning we should heed, Brian, isn't it? It is. And we should also bear in mind that politics changes very greatly. In, in the, the great and noble city of Dundee, which, uh, like Andy, I was, uh, I, I was born and brought up in, uh, once uh, had uh, a certain Winston Churchill as its MP. He was a liberal at the time. He'd been a Tory before and he was later a Conservative, as he said himself rather famously. Uh, anybody can rat on a party. It takes a genius to re-rat. But he was also in, in 19, 1922, he stood against a guy called Neddy Scrimger, who stood on a <laughs> campaign of socialism and the prohibition of alcohol, uh, <laughs> neither of which trait particularly appealed to Winston, but he was kicked out by the voters of Dundee in 1922. You would have thought that was absolutely the end of his political career, the, 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 the death of, of ambition for, for W. Churchill, and yet he uh, went on to uh, other and, and better things. So politics charms. I just think, um, you know, before we, we, we let you go, because I, with our other colleagues, uh, Brian, I, I just think it's important for us to say at this stage uh, we've been discussing, you know, if it's a no, if it's a no, if it's a no. It is still perfectly possible it is. for yes to win. And if it is a yes, if it is a yes, if it is a yes, then there is a challenge to, to the, the, the UK government and the UK parties again, that there would have to be a series of negotiations on the terms of that, that yes vote and, uh, you know, that there would be uh, very detailed and, and protracted negotiations, I'm sure.